Sir, we're detecting a massive object emerging from hyperspace. China now taking ownership over the high-altitude balloon floating over sensitive U.S. airspace. Referring to it... We call it the Death Star. There is no better name. And the day is coming soon when it will be... Used for research, mainly meteorological purposes. For those of you who think uh, this might just be the moon... That's no moon. It's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. But if you zoom in, there's something, maybe solar panels seemingly attached. I have a very bad feeling about this. The surveillance says the Pentagon has been neutralized, though it didn't say how, adding there is now no threat to Americans. Now witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. We're monitoring the situation closely, uh, reviewing options, but beyond that, I'm not going to have any additional Beijing saying it deviated far from its planned course because of winds. But U.S. officials tell ABC News the balloon appears to have steering capabilities. China calls it an accident, a weather balloon gone rogue. Uh, rogue one. The U.S. calls that nonsense. And the U.S. has now canceled a planned high-profile visit to China by the Secretary of State. Fire at will, Commander. The presence of this surveillance balloon in U.S. airspace is a clear violation of U.S. sovereignty and international law. Canada, too, has been drawn in, believed to have found itself in the path of the balloon. Indeed, some have suggested it crossed the length of B.C. in getting to the U.S. Midwest. We continue to take all necessary measures to safeguard Canada from foreign intelligence. Oh, it's beautiful. great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. We take this very seriously.